Hey YouTube, welcome back, guys. So today we are going to uh, install this uh, Baja. Uh, this one is the LED uh, rock slash uh, dome light. This one is for the trunk. So let's go ahead and uh, unbox uh, this real quick. I'll open this up, show you guys. So this is the light right here with the switch. And this is a rubberized uh, material, so it's like a waterproof or snowproof. And then uh, it has a positive and negative uh, wire. So you can do the QR code scanning right here for the lights on how to uh, install it. Wow. They come with the zip ties and then the bracket and then the hardware. So I already pop out this uh, cover and you need to drill a hole. Make sure it's not too big and then insert the wiring inside there. You don't need that. You don't need this? No. And then that's it. So I use like a thin plastic uh, prying tool. There's a gap right here on this side toward the passenger side. But we uh, put like a black wire tape in case uh, you need, you're gonna scratch it, your interior, uh, right here. And just uh, pop it down and then remove the cover. Now we're going to search for the wiring. Oh, right there, the connector. Yeah. And you need to uh, unlatch the connector. It's this far. For the push button uh, trunk to get the voltage from there. So I unplug the button, and this is a plug for it. You need to press this down, okay? While you putting the wire outward, okay? And that's the connector right there that I pull it out. And then uh, we got this uh, crimp uh, kit. Gonna use a red one. You crimp the wire. The black wire is a ground, and you need to find out which uh, the voltage for the wiring. And then you're gonna use this uh, connector connecting right there on the back. So this is the connector right here. I right, use a multimeter to test out the voltage. The ground is the negative, and then the one next to it is the constant uh, 12 volt. So we're gonna use the T-tap to connect it. So just uh, we're gonna drill some holes for the mounting uh, screws. And then we're going to use a little bit uh, bigger uh, drill bit to uh, match the same hole on the bolt. And then after that we're going to use a washer and then uh, a nut to tie it up. Ah! Ooh. Here goes your interior. <laughs> Does the screw go in? Do a test fit. It could be tight, but... No. 
It's gonna be tight. I wanted it tight. Uh, so that what gonna... about the wire? I know. That's the next one. Let's go a little bigger on the wire. Put this size. It's too tight. You gotta go small and then big is first instead of reverse. Make sure it's lined up, or it's gonna look crooked. So you can't like go too tight, because then yeah, you're gonna. No. Well, I could, but I'm gonna bend the wire. That's all. I just make sure it doesn't ring wrinkle out on the wire. That's that's the main thing. These holes a little bit bigger. How much was that like? Uh, with the discount, like. 50 bucks. What? Damn. It's the tiny old light. Where's the other range? <sighs> oh, I put it. Shit. Yes. Right here. Let's use the drill. This drill help. Oh, too powerful. Are you crazy or what, man? Yeah. Like ruin it. Number three size Allen wrench. You gotta put the washer, no? Yeah. It's getting this started. Yeah, man. That school so long. Which is this for? What'd you? It's probably a shorter one. Yeah. Why'd you use that one? It's too long. Is that? Yeah, that's too short. Hmm. Then you won't be able to get a washer. More than that. Too. Yeah. I saw the way pass pass through it though. <laughs> so it works. Well they come with that uh, two different uh, type of screws, so you use See, a long one recessed. or the short one. This one looks better. Yeah, this one might be too short.
Japão. Looks pretty flush. Alright, so I'm gonna crimp the wire. Hopefully the wire is not too small. Need pliers? Oh. oh my god. Is it tight? How is tight? I crimp it down. Oh, damn. Never mind, I throw that one away. Shouldn't you strip it more so it makes a better connection? No, once it crimp it, it's fine. There you go. So how does it grip though? Huh? Do you know how they do it? Yeah, the wire is supposed to be sliced through, but hopefully this is, uh, it's not too uh, thin. Should be all right. Into the black one. I don't think I have any room. Where's the little scissor? I cut the... What? Just strip it back some. Yeah, a little bit. Spare it up. Do it like that so I don't... Yeah, twist it around. Just need this two wire. The other one will not away. <sighs> That's in already. Hopefully it uh, has a good connection. I have not opening. This one is positive, it's live. Not working, eh? What? Nope. Try it out. Well, you gotta plug it back in. You gotta plug. No, it's no. just a button, dude. No, you gotta plug it back in. I, I just checked the voltage. I have a voltage. You sure? It's 12 volt. I don't think. Oh, I have the switch off. I turn off the switch. 
what? Right? Oh, yeah, it's on. What? You can oh, turn yeah. the switch over there? Yeah. What, it's only on for a couple of seconds or no. what? No, should stay on. Well, right now it's on. What the hell? Yeah, something's loose. Alright, so we finally finished the lie. So as we were testing, I uh, guess the clamp or the clamp didn't uh, cut the wire through, so we had to manual uh, wrap around the wire together with the wire tape. So this is a finished product. And uh, sometimes there's a, what do you call that in Sleep mode? Or what? The car goes in sleep mode. Sometimes the car or the interior light go into sleep mode to save electricity. So as you see the the middle one is still on and then the driver out there they are all on so so we go into sleep mode this light is gonna not gonna work so just uh, give you guys a notice anyway I uh, hope you guys uh, give a thumbs up like the video please uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button turn on that bell for notification or uh, drop in a comment down below thank you for watching see you guys on the next one like always Peace.